Hooray, the shoulders and triceps video is just going live. Problem is, I trained yesterday, shoulders and triceps, and it's currently the day after, in the afternoon. But we're gonna catch up today, it's back on biceps. Today's pre-workout shake, almond milk, vanilla soft scoop ice cream by Sainsbury's, two Malteser bars, desiccated coconut, Weetos, whey protein, and a blender. You see, the trick about the Weetos is actually it promotes strength, alertness, and energy, which is everything you want pre workout. Almond milk in, Weetos in. Next up, we are going to lob, 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 lob the Maltese bars in. Fourth ingredient, we're going straight for the whey protein. Two scoops, biscuit flavour. Fifth ingredient, we've got the ice cream, just one spoon of it. And finally, before we blend it, we do what's called the treating method, which is where we just just a little bit of almond milk over the top. There we go. Oh, blend it, baby. We're going to leave it blending for about 30 seconds. Operation complete. What's going on, guys? Bit of pre-workout tunes. Good old Clash, Cosy JK. Got the uh, Shadow X. We're going to bang two scoops of this. Then we are going to hit the gym. Back on biceps. Let's go! Who saw this back in the day? Classic Clash going on right here. Hello, hello, hello. You are joining me with a saucy voiceover. So we're starting off with a lap pull down, 70 kilograms, four times 10. Last time I did do heavier, 75, but the form wasn't there. In this, I really wanted to concentrate on the contractions and form before we increase it again the next session. So next session, you will see 75 kilograms with good form. Moving on to the bent over rows, you might wonder why is my earphone hanging out when I'm talking to the guy to the right side of me. Um, He's gonna check out my Insta on YouTube, so big respect to you, bro. And I hope I help you with your form on that pull down. But yeah, on the rows I did 40 kilograms, one, uh, four times 10, which is the same weight again, but better form. Pull-ups, we managed to get a set of 10 here, which I'm really happy with, and the symmetry is good. That's what I wanna do on pull-ups. I wanna work on the symmetry. It's a body weight exercise. There's no excuse for bad symmetry. So I did one times 10, one times eight, then two sets of six. The rest time was short though. All right, these, if I can call them shrugs, 46 kg, and then I did move it down to 40. I wish they had 42s and 44s. What's going on? Back is done and dusted. We are now moving on to biceps and we have to curl 30 kilograms for our first set. If we only get two reps, we only get two reps. Hopefully not going below 24, 26 kilograms. Um, feeling pretty good, the joints are feeling good. As you can see like on the lat pull down and um, bent over rows, I use the same weight. And that was purely to get the contractions and to really not try and mess the joints up and keep good form. And the sun is in my eyes. It's a quite a nice day today to be fair. I don't know if you can see the sun up there. Yeah, it's a really nice day. Let's get on with our first set of bicep curls. Also, even though I stayed on the same weight on the two exercises on back, I will have to throw in another back exercise as it is a progressive overload plan. So we need to progress it in some way. I didn't progress the rest time shorter, I didn't progress the weight, I didn't progress the sets or reps. Therefore, we're gonna progress it by adding in another exercise right at the end as well. Let's do bicep. Performing this exercise is shoot. Please close eyes now. So really, I was just testing what 30 kilogram felt like. I have the experience and knowledge to know where the form is literally too bad to injure myself and this isn't too bad to injure myself. Uh, it's a little swing each rep and I'm, I'm controlling it down and contracting at the top. So yeah. So we managed four reps on each arm of the 30s. Terrible form, swinging everywhere. But at least we've attempted the weight and we know what it feels like. Now we're going to try and move down to 26 and keep progressing. We have six reps to catch up on for the first set. So we're not taking it easy on ourselves. The form was absolutely shit then but you know, at least we've attempted that way. Thought I would add this little clip in to show you correct form on a bicep curl, as I don't want to be responsible for anyone ripping their shoulder out of the socket or anything. Little look at the camera. Uh, this is just eight kilograms. I was just showing you how to do the form. After this, we moved on to 26 kg, where my form's a little bit better. What I need to do is I need to stand up a little taller, tuck my head in a little bit more, but this is a heavy weight. It, it's too heavy for me and third and fourth set we dropped it down to 24 so here I think I got like six or seven I don't know and then uh, I did a rest pause and got the remaining reps and then just did the last two sets on biceps with 24s where it felt 
much, much, much better. Um, better contractions and I know that I'm getting stronger as 24s felt lighter. All right, moving on to the little rope curls. A lot, a big tip here is not to split the rope too much at the top. Literally, it should be split throughout the whole movement and then a tiny little split at the top. And make sure you're not throwing it and swinging it like, you know, make sure it is a weight that you can control. I should have really included the 24s in on the biceps to show that I didn't swing for my third and fourth set. But yeah, as long as you're getting that control and squeeze, like, form's a bit off here. Again, I need to stand a little taller. I do reset my scapula here. See, I pull my scapula back, and that's the form that you want there. So at least I am, um, I am noticing as I go heavier, the form needs to stay tight. Okay, moving on to the side hammer curls. We did 26 kilograms on these, as you can see in the video. And then we did move it down to 24 and then 22, I believe. All the screenshots, like I said, will be in the final video, so you can see the progression. But on this, I like to do five on one arm and then go back to the other and then five. And you'll actually find the main difficulty in this exercise is holding the other dumbbell close to your side without like your grip feeling like it's gonna burst. Because it is that whole carrier bag effect of your fingers. You know, you can relate it to that. Your fingers ache and like, Fuck! All right, this is 41 kg in this video. I literally, I know it's not 41 kg, it's in a 41 kg dumbbell, but you know, it felt decent. I did move it down to 36, and then I think I did 32 for the last two sets. But as long as I'm getting that heavy set in at the start and then not dropping lower than last uh, last session, it, I'm really happy with it. All right, as promised, I threw in another back exercise. So we did diverging lat pull down, and I stayed around 52 kg, four times 10. Tried not to raise the shoulders up too high and get a nice squeeze at the bottom. Thanks a lot for listening to this voiceover, guys. Subscribe for more. Peace!